Hi everyone, welcome you all. So today we are here to discuss some more function related to list. In this context, without wasting much time, let us discuss clear function, which is really very easy and very straightforward. Clear function, right? So let us have a list. LST is equals to LST range, let's say 1 to 10. That's perfectly fine. Let us print this LST and just fire LST dot clear and then print the list again. Okay. Now let us execute this piece of our code and check out the result. Now you can see initially we were having 10, uh, sorry, 9 elements. And when we specify, uh, when, we, when we execute clear method for the list, it removes all the elements from the list. That's really simple, I think. And you get an empty list. Okay, hopefully this is clear to you. Then there is a function called count, and which is uh, which should be able, which is able to count the number of elements present. Number you can say the occurrence of the value. Count function. Here you must specify the value and value is kept inside the angle brackets because uh, according to the situation you may change it now we should be having a list lst is equals to list dot actually i should be using a change function mm, let's say let's say four only and then we may extend this list with the another list let's say this time two three four four five whatever so this may be the list let us print this list and execute this piece of our code so we have a clear idea of the list how it looks like now you can see you can check it out we have two twos actually three twos two threes and 32 and other things right now what I'm going to do is I'm going to find out how many times any particular value is in the list. So it's really very simple. Now what we are going to do, we are going to count the number of twos in this list lst.count and this time I must specify two. Let us run this program and tada, we get the number of twos in our list. Now homework for you is you have to implement same function or you have to make a program which exactly counts the number of values present in that list without using the count function right for example what you need to do you need to have a variable let's say item and then you can take an input right and after taking an input you do something so that it counts the occurrence of item in the list right so at the end of the day you should be printing somewhat like this um, item is present in the list okay dash number of times instead of a dash you need to print the number of occurrence for the item right hopefully you will do it and then we should proceed to our next function which is a reverse function okay so reverse function it doesn't take any argument so we, we, are, we are fine with the elements that's perfectly fine now what we need to do I'm going to lst dot reverse and let us print the list let us remove this piece of a code and check it out so Initially, it was 0, 0, 1, 2, 3. Now it is being reversed. Let us print it uh, before I should be executing the reverse function so that we have both the version of the list. See, initially this was the list, and now with the help of reverse function, it simply reverses all the elements. Okay, I think that's perfectly fine and that's pretty easy now let us see we have another function in our inventory that is short function and as the name describes it will short all the elements let us take the same list
actually we have used now instead of a reverse we use a short method and let us execute this piece of a code and here list object has no attribute called short because I misspelled it it should be short and now we can check it out so we have two 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 continues contiguously three three though three are present in different locations four and then 32 let us short little mode so that we have a very um, big value in between somewhere and let us see whether it is placed at the end or not the it is placed at the end okay now it accepts another parameter for example if i want to short it in descending order how we can do it lst dot short then we can specify a named parameter here we see what i um, uh, said it is called a named parameter so basically we are going to specify the value but before that we have to name that parameter so it is called reverse is equals to already uh, suggested by the id just press the tab and specify true here and see it is reverse okay and that is true and if you specify false then it will be in a wait a minute false and execute this piece of code Oh, wait a minute. Actually, I, have, I was not able to print this. So let's print this list after shorting. Let's run this program. See, uh, it is sorted in descending order. And if you specify false, it will be in the ascending order. Right? So this parameter, you can specify the Boolean values. And that will do the trick. Right? Hopefully, you, will, you have learned all these three. So this concludes our topic on list and so it also completes our chapter and from tomorrow we are going to learn I will, I'm going to give you some questions you have to answer them obviously we will discuss some if you have if you really have problem otherwise try to do it yourself in in extreme circumstances we are going to discuss the solutions right and see students on here i don't have to do hard work you have to do hard work that's how you will learn if you will not do and you will wait for this solution then definitely you will be suffer because i don't have to give paper you people have to give paper right and in class 11 don't uh don't uh, think that paper will be easy it will be uh, a very standard paper okay and in pen paper test definitely there will be no relaxation I'm very straight and I'm very clear about it okay that's all bye bye see you and have a nice day